All right, y'all, we are back with another video. And it seems like this Maui situation then got even worse. <clears throat> it said five minutes ago, The Rock panics after his lies about Maui get leaked. And the video is going crazy, so we definitely need to check this out. Y'all know I've been covering this Maui situation for about a month because I still believe it's a lot of lies going on. They still won't tell us, like, the number of kids that is still missing. It's just a lot going on. And I'm still upset that why this police or whoever it was that was blocking off the roads, stopping the people from getting out, ain't held accountable for a lot of this stuff. I'm wondering why that ain't happened. And then I'm still upset about what Joe Biden said when he finally flew down there after everybody got on his tail. Because other than that, Joe Biden wasn't even going to go to Hawaii. He wasn't even going to go there until everybody called him out. And then he decided to go. And then when he did go, he wanted to make this dumb joke about his house almost catching on fire. He almost lost his cat and his car, trying to compare that to people that actually lost their lives. I mean, that, that man is a, is a disaster. I mean, he's just a disaster. But like I said, this one um, right here is coming from the channel Just In. I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go uh, click on the regular video. Go show Just In some love. And uh, like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Shout out to everybody showing so much support. Everybody been leaving positive comments in the comment section. And I also want to thank everybody that clicked on this video for the very first time. I appreciate you as well. Hopefully, I'll see you again if you are new to the channel. Without further ado, let's dive straight into it. Oh, yeah. And another thing before I get to the video, I want to shout out to all the new members uh, on the channel. I really, really appreciate everybody that's uh, signing up for their memberships and stuff like that. I really, really appreciate all of you for doing it. And I will be eventually starting to go live a lot. So y'all stay tuned for that. We're going to start going live, talking about a lot of different topics. So uh, if you ain't a member, make sure you become a channel member. All right. Without further ado, let's dive straight in. The Rock is afraid of absolutely everything to be accountable and stand up to the mistakes you've made. The Rock is allegedly in panic after the alleged truth about his donation has just been leaked. And guess who is rumored to have accidentally spilled the beans? None other than his supposed partner in crime, Winfrey. Dwayne and I put in $10 million to start the fund. We want to continue for as long as we can. So what exactly is going on? In a jaw-dropping turn of events that sent shockwaves through the world of celebrity philanthropy, it seems that the ever-charming Dwayne Johnson and the Queen of Talk shows herself Oprah Winfrey might not be the altruistic saviors we thought they were. What initially looked like a generous $10 million donation to help the people of Maui is now being seen in a whole new light, with rumors and whispers swirling about the true motives behind this flashy act of charity. Just a few days ago, social media was buzzing with excitement as Dwayne Johnson and Oprah Winfrey made headlines by announcing their jaw-dropping mm. donation of $10 million to aid the victims of Maui. That money is going to go to one of many residents who have been displaced in Maui, we guarantee. The news spread like wildfire, tugging at heartstrings and winning these celebrities a heap of praise from their adoring fans. However, as the days rolled on, it became painfully clear that the reality of their supposed charitable endeavor wasn't quite what it seemed. Oprah, in an exclusive interview that only mm. added more fuel to the gossip mill, tried to explain that the $10 million wasn't going directly to the people of Maui, as most had naively assumed. Instead, Johnson and Winfrey had decided to set up something they called the People's Fund of Maui. Dwayne and I put in $10 million to start the fund. We want to continue for as long as we can. Well, that raised more than a few perfectly manicured Indeed. eyebrows Indeed. and left us all wondering, what's really going on here? Defending their decision, Oprah eloquently stated, the infrastructure is in place for your donations to help people be able to have their own money, have their own agency. While she maintained that their intentions were as pure as a Hollywood smile, it was clear that the public was left scratching their heads and searching for answers about the murky waters of this charitable setup. Yep. But wait, it gets even juicier. Brace yourselves for the big reveal. The People's Fund of Maui, it turns out, is owned and operated by the Entertainment Industry Foundation, EIF, 
a nonprofit organization with close mm. ties to, you guessed it, the entertainment industry. Hollywood. That's right, folks. The charity we all thought was going to help the needy citizens of Maui is actually in bed with the Hollywood elite. Once this bombshell was dropped, the rumor mill went into overdrive, and questions about transparency and ethics started flooding in. But here's where it gets really scandalous. The fat cat executives over at EIF seem to be living the high life while the rest of us are left wondering where the alleged $10 million went. In fact, some people are convinced that the donations made to the People's Fund of mm. Maui might not even get to the intended recipients. Yep. You see, reports came crashing down, revealing that the president of EIF is raking in a hefty salary north of $400,000 a year. The CEO isn't far behind, pocketing over $300,000 annually. And let's not forget the CFO, casually stashing away more than $290,000 each year. Not to mention the 29 other individuals on EIF's payroll who are laughing all the way to the bank with salaries exceeding $100,000 each year. These 13 top-tier executives wow. are collectively rolling in a mind-boggling $3.2 million, while the lower-level workers, the ones actually doing the charity's heavy lifting, are left to scrape by on an average of approximately $64,527 per mm. year. Now, if that doesn't make you shake your head in disbelief, do. I don't know what will. The glaring disconnect between EIF's lavish executive salaries and the paltry $1,200 being doled out to those in need through the People's Fund of Maui is enough to make anyone's blood boil. It's no wonder the public has begun to wonder whether Dwayne and Oprah's supposed act of charity was nothing more than a slick publicity stunt designed to keep them in the spotlight. Critics argue that the real winners in this scheme are the executives running EIF, while the victims of the Hawaii wildfire are left high and dry. As the scandal continues to unfold, it's prompted a broader conversation about the true nature of nonprofit organizations, especially those with executives living the high life on donors' hard-earned cash. Are these organizations genuinely committed to supporting those in need, or are they just elaborate schemes to further line the pockets of the rich and famous? In the midst of this growing controversy, some outspoken advocates are encouraging individuals to sidestep the shady dealings of celebrity-backed nonprofits and donate directly to those in need through independent platforms. After all, by cutting out the middleman, you can ensure yeah. your donations land where they belong without any detours through the bank accounts of celebrity-endorsed charities. In any case, Oprah and Dwayne, both billionaires and multimillionaires respectively, yep. have set the gossip mill on fire with their eyebrow-raising decision to solicit public donations for their charitable endeavors. Fans are now left wondering why these deep-pocketed celebrities are reaching into the wallets of hard-working folks when they could easily foot the bill themselves. The sentiment is loud and clear. Exactly. Why are Oprah and Dwayne asking the common man to open their wallets when they're swimming in cash? Oprah Winfrey, with a net worth that could make your head spin, estimated to be $3 billion. $3 billion. And Dwayne The Rock Johnson, boasting a hefty fortune, rumored to be around $800 million. These are two of the wealthiest individuals in the entertainment. That's what I was saying. The Rock. And don't get me wrong. The Rock was always my favorite wrestler growing up. But here's the thing that a lot of us got to start doing. Even if you got a, got a favorite actor, a, a you know what I'm saying, Favorite artists, no matter whatever the case, if they do something wrong, you need to call it out, regardless if, if, if that person is your favorite of all time, whatever the case is. When a person do something like this, it needs to be called out. And I did. I've said this on plenty of videos for a whole month that, yes, The Rock has always been my favorite wrestler growing up, but I did call him out and say, hey, he's dead wrong for this. He's dead. The Rock is worth $800 million. And Oprah is worth $3.5 billion. Just like the person said, they are swimming in cash and trying to get money from everyday working citizens who's barely getting by. Some people, some people like us only getting wet $500 a week from a job average. And you want us to donate when y'all are millionaires and billionaires. Might well say to rock a billionaire, $800 million. I I'm pretty sure to rock a billionaire by now. I'm pretty sure he is. So you telling me that Oprah and The Rock put in $10 million, which means Oprah put $5 million and The Rock put five. What is $5 million to somebody like Oprah? Why didn't she just go ahead and just pay for it? If she really, really wanted to help them, she would have went ahead and paid for it, not pay half, and then ask everybody around the world, like normal, everyday working citizens, to donate. 
Why not? If she did not want to pay the whole thing, why not ask other billionaire friends? Like, why didn't you uh, get a group of millionaires and billionaires and every and all of y'all put y'all money together? Everybody put some in to take care of the situation. Why didn't she do that? Why did she come straight to like normal people? And then if y'all realize, if y'all haven't watched uh, Oprah interview, she literally blamed us. Talking about we are harassing her. Uh, she didn't turn off a comment section because everybody was going off on her. Oprah, you got enough money to take care of all this. Why is you asking us? You got enough money. The money you got, some, some of us would never see in a lifetime. And she cut off and deleted all the comments everybody said about her under there. Delete. I'm pretty sure if you go to her page right now, them comments are still turned off. You can't even comment under her page no more. She done literally and cut it off and removed all the comments because everybody was going off on her. And rightfully so, they should. We all went off on Oprah because she's wrong for that. You a billionaire. Why is you asking us for money? Some of us, some of us don't even have $1,000 to our name. But yet you a billionaire. only thing she's doing with her money is buying land. The money that she's spending to buy land, why not take care of it for the people in my way and get their houses and stuff rebuilt? Why not use that money to do that instead of using your money to go buy more land? So that's the reason why everybody uh, called her out. And like I said before, I definitely called The Rock out. I don't like this. I don't like that he did this because he got too much money. And I think The Rock is from Hawaii. So he got too much money to be saying, I'm going to put this in and then I want everybody else to pay. No, you got the money. You can pay it because according to them, it might be a tax write-off or whatever you want to call it anyway. And The Rock can go rouse her, go do another movie. He'll get all that money right back. You know what I'm saying? So it, it, that's just how it is. That's why everybody called him out. But uh, let's keep it going. Payment industry. And yet, they're pulling a move that's leaving their fans and the public scratching their heads. It's no secret that both Oprah and Dwayne have the financial means to make a significant impact on any charitable cause they choose. They can. So why are they playing the crowdfunding game and asking for donations from their fans, many of whom are just trying to make ends meet? Fans and critics alike have been quick to voice their opinions on this matter, and let's just say it's not pretty. The whispers of skepticism and shade are growing louder by the day. One fan actually commented on this saying, You're a multi-billionaire standing next to a multi-millionaire asking us, the common people, for donations to support the victims of the Maui fires? <laughs> That's comical. We all know yeah. that Oprah and Dwayne's combined wealth could probably even solve world hunger, or at the very least, make a massive dent in it. So when they put up a donation link or go on social media pleading for contributions for the Maui victims, it's hard for their fans not to raise an eyebrow or two. However, the real kicker here is that many of their fans feel like they're being taken for a ride. The common man, who works hard for every dollar earned, is being asked to chip in while these mega-rich celebrities look on from their ivory towers. It's a tough pill to swallow for those who admire these stars. Yep. But fans aren't just questioning the morality of asking for public donations. They're also wondering why Oprah and Dwayne aren't using their colossal wealth to set an example. It's not just about the money, it's about the message. When you're yep. as financially blessed as they are, the expectation is that you'd lead by example and inspire others to follow suit. Instead, fans are left with a bitter taste in their mouths, feeling like their favorite celebrities are all talk and no action. The irony isn't lost on anyone. Oprah and Dwayne, who often preach about empowerment and giving back, mm -hmm. seem to be falling short when it comes to practicing what they preach. And let's not forget the optics. When Oprah and Dwayne ask their fans to donate, it creates an image of the rich getting richer, while the rest of us are left to open our wallets. The notion yep. that they're relying on public generosity for their charitable initiatives leaves fans questioning whether these actions are more about boosting their public image than making a real impact. One fan commented on this saying, the rich elite that have property in Hawaii, Oprah, Dwayne, Bill Gates, Obama, Pierce Brosnan, Tom Hanks, Matthew McConaughey, Jeff Bezos, Woody Harrelson, Owen Wilson, Willie Nelson, Clint Eastwood, and others like them can afford to fund what is needed and still live their lavish lifestyles. Yep. But by all means, ask normal citizens struggling with high prices to donate. Each one of the celebrities above could donate millions, not notice anything different in their net worth, and probably get a tax write-off. I just said that. I just said that. It probably just going to be they're going to donate all that money, and it's just going to be a tax write-off. I just said that. That's all it's going to be. 
Now, I've been hearing some other stuff about Tom Hanks uh, being exposed about some of this stuff. So I've been hearing a lot of names uh, that's coming out. And, and like I said before, I feel like it was going to be a tax write-off. So I'm like, why Why wouldn't Oprah, because I'm pretty sure the position he, uh, she's in, she knows a lot of more other celebrities. If she know The Rock, I'm pretty sure she know a lot of more celebrities. She can call their phone and say, hey, would you donate a, a million dollars for this? So I'm pretty sure they would do it. So why would... You only donate $5 million. That that ain't nothing of your net worth. $5 million. And then The Rock donate $5 million, and you want the rest of the money to come from common people. That's why she's getting called out. And then she's going to go play victim. Time out. Everybody is harassing her online and, and all that. So she didn't turned off her comments and removed everything people didn't say it. Second fan added, What's really sad is that a lot of people will donate their hard-earned money simply because of who she is. They will blindly trust her and never bother to question, why isn't she hitting up all her millionaire buddies? Because they probably know better. I know a lot of people think Oprah is some angel, but they are fools. This woman is beyond evil. Another wolf in sheep's clothing. It makes me sick to my stomach. Meanwhile, critics argue that this isn't just about making a charitable donation. It's about the responsibility that comes with mm. immense wealth. Oprah and Dwayne, they say, should be setting an example by using their own resources to enact change, rather than relying on the generosity of others. In any case, as the world watches this real-life soap opera unfold, it's unclear whether Dwayne Johnson and Oprah Winfrey will ever address the mounting concerns and skepticism swirling around their seemingly charitable venture. But one thing is for sure, this revelation has cast a dark shadow over what was once celebrated as a noble act of generosity, leaving us all to ponder the true intentions behind mm -hmm. the glittering facade of celebrity philanthropy. Anyway, that's it for this video, folks. There we go. Another video right there. The Rock panics as his lies about Maui get leaked. I've never heard of that before. Have y'all ever heard of that? Uh, what was it? EF, uh, EFI, something like that. I've never heard of that uh, entertainment uh, industry thing. I've never heard of it. Let me see. It's called Entertainment Industry Foundation. Entertainment Industry Foundation. I've never heard of that. Maybe it's something that's been out and I never heard of it. But y'all let me know in the comment section how y'all ever heard of that. I've never heard of that before. So it's like I said, there's a lot of stuff that's constantly coming out. And I'm going to continue to cover this and until the problem is solved because we are still being lied to about how the fire started. Uh, I mean, like how many kids are still missing? Like we trying to find out a lot of stuff and they are constantly lying to us. So that's why I'm not getting off this topic until everything is taken care of. I'm going to stay on it and see, uh, you know, see what else happens. But I want to appreciate you all for watching. Like I said, make sure you hit that like button. Um, make sure y'all subscribe to the channel. And like I said, I will leave the original video in the description. So make sure y'all go subscribe to Just In Channel. Thank you all for watching. And I catch y'all in the next one.